Okay, this video is going to be about the vegan Cold War. Amazing starch, how sweet the sound, that saved a slob like me. I once was fat, but now I'm thin, was blind, but now I see. Twas starch that taught my arteries to flow, and starch my blockages relieved. How precious did that starch appear, the hour I first believed. We'll dedicate that one to Dr. McDougall. Okay, the vegan Cold War. So we spoke about the vegan reformation, which is the hot war that will not happen. The Ivy League medical centers will not challenge a vegan diet for treatment of chronic disease because they know they will get their butt kicked. They don't need to challenge it though. They've got a good end around game plan. And so here it is. You don't need to get fat from meat. You can get high fat from plant foods, from oils. And so what I think is gonna happen is big food is just gonna promote these high fat diets of plant-based fats and the people are gonna be as fat and sick as ever. Um, they're gonna pay as they're already doing. All these you know, sort of good looking 40 something people, big muscles to promote high fat diets. And the average chump just looks at them and says, gee, that guy's got big muscles, I wanna be like him. Even though the guy's on steroids. And so they'll still get them to eat all these fats. And I see the latest thing I see is there's big push Oh, you need omega-3s for, uh, for brain health. I don't believe that. I think you're much more risk of lipid peroxidation and other problems related to excess dietary fats. I wouldn't go down that path. There's tons of data supporting the low-fat diet. We talked about this before. McDougall's data, Kempner's data, Pritikin's data, Chef AJ's experience, and lots of other physicians that are out there practicing low-fat uh, plant-based diets and my own personal experience and my small uh, patient set as well. Um, other things to be aware of, you know, they're all bad. All the oils are bad. Coconut oil is bad. Olive oil is bad. Omega-3s, they're all bad. Canola too. I don't recommend any of these things. Anytime a food is highly profitable, the industry does a bunch of studies, and then they can claim the weight of the studies, the weight of the evidence. Evidence-based medicine, so to speak, is that the majority of studies support their product. You have to just use your sense. You know, how could caffeine be good for you when it's basically recreates acute stress. You know, everybody knows that acute stress is bad for you. It makes your blood more thrombotic, stresses your heart, uh, stresses your hippocampal neurons. So why would that be good for you when it's coming from caffeine added on to your problems already? Um, I got separate lectures on all this stuff on soy. I don't like the idea of eating nuts, you know, all that fat. You know, a small amount on the holidays, one tablespoon or something is probably fine, but more than that I think would be a bad idea. Um, and I think that a lot of the data su 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 supporting all those things is industry-based as far as I can tell. Okay, the vegan burgers, another stupid idea. Okay, you know, soy can make a burger because it's like meat. It's got so many things in common with meat. Heme iron, high fat, increases estrogen levels. I don't like that idea. Highly processed, potentially with hexane. Forget about it. Okay, high fructose corn syrup, industrial uh, sweeteners especially bad in beverages. I think it predisposes to fatty liver and whatnot. I'll have separate, I've got separate lectures on that. Um, avocados, you know, in nature, they're only in season for about two weeks. Um, people eating them on a routine basis, I think it's a bad idea. Same thing with nuts, you know, people uh, habitually eating big amounts of those, bad idea. I don't think you need to eat any of these seeds, just so you know. I worry more about lipid peroxidation and problems from that stuff. I haven't seen, you know, Tadahumata and these other incredibly fit populations seeking out that sort of thing or these blue zone populations going after trying to find more fats. Um, so in the end, I think people are going to eat more higher percentage of their calories from plants. There's a big sort of push for that, but it's still going to be a high fat diet and I think they're going to be as fat and sick as ever. A fat person is, you know, good for the economy, like what a fatty acid is in the metabolic cycle getting chopped up and burned for energy. Yeah, that's essentially what fat people are in the economy. So in a sense, you know, they uh, keep the hospitals full and, you know, nothing wrong with that. So anyways.